Good evening. Hello, hello, good evening, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. Thank you, nice, welcome. Yes. Thank you so much for join, joining the, the class right now. So let's see, we are just like 10 right now. Yeah, we are 10. So we are going to wait for the rest. Okay, to join the class and that way we will be able to start. Good evening, teacher, do you hear me? Yes, I can hear okay. you, thank you. Okay, thank you. Nice, so we are 10. I don't know what happened with the rest, just because today is our Friday, probably they are not here. Yeah, right. Yeah, today is our Friday. Okay, so... Let's see, we have Noemi. Thank you, Elvis. Thank you for being on time. Alexander, Rafael, Dagoberto, Milagro, Claudia, and Yolanda. Nice. Thank you for being on time. So, Dagoberto, I don't see your camera. Milagro, I don't see your camera. Thank you, Dagoberto. Yeah. Está, está, está. Nice, Claudia. Milagro, welcome. Thank you, Milagro, for joining the class. Um, let's see. Claudia, were you here yesterday in the class? Are you, were you here? No. <laughs> ah, you see, I know that you were not here. How can I forget your background with your cat? So I know that yesterday you were not here, okay? But the good thing is that now you are here, okay? Now you are here. So today we are going to start immediately with the class because we need to finish the uh, unit number four, right? So we are about to finish today. And uh, in the platform with the activities that we have, we need to finish, okay, everything. Everything, everything, everything we need to finish uh, this 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 week, okay? So during the weekend, if you need help, yeah, of course you can text me, you can send me a message and I will be more than glad to help you. I know that someone sent me a message and I haven't replied. So I know that I have a message right there from someone. Um, I will send you the information, okay? As soon as we finish the class. But then the rest, so I guess that you are nice with the platform, that you have all your um, exercise complete, okay? Because next week is the last week, okay? And we are going to have just Monday and Tuesday, I guess, to complete everything. So on Wednesday, uh, on Thursday, everything needs to be done, okay? So if you have problems with something in the platform, uh, let me know, please, because we need to finish, okay? So now still we are 10. I don't know what happened with the rest, but I'm going to uh, share the screen right now. And we are going to see the presentation that we have for today. Let me make it bigger right here. And this is what we have. So this is something that we mentioned before. 
And today it's class number uh, 12, okay? Class number 12, here we go. Okay, so today we are going to read a little bit. Uh, we have four readings right here. I don't know if you're able to see it. It looks, I guess, según yo que lo había arreglado, pero I see it kind of weird. Okay, let's see if we can read it. Okay, let's see if we can read this. Um, let's see. Alexander, just because you were the first one in the class today. <laughs> you were the first one. Okay, so please help us with the reading. You are going to read... Um, right here where it says uh pedro this try to read it please okay okay <clears throat> peter uh 28 years old this is pedro and he lives in mexico he's tall uh, john and handsome john and handsome he has short brown hair and uh, beard. He also has dark brown eyes and eyebrows. Eyebrows. Sorry, but I try to read. <laughs> he has yeah. a small nose and large ears. He's very friendly and he has a lot of friends. He also has tattoos in his arms. Today he is wearing a blue t-shirt thank you perfect perfect so this is peter right peter ha, peter uh, does the the reading okay elvis how old is peter elvis abrego let me uh, yes teacher how old is um, uh, peter Let me let me see. Let me see. Okay, let's see. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, Elvis. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't see this. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay, no problem. Uh, let's see. Noemi just said yeah, the same question. How old is Peter? This okay. Yeah. Twenty-eight years old. Thank you. He is twenty years old. Okay. Uh, Rafael, where is uh, Peter from? He lives in Mexico. Okay, so he's from Mexico, right? He lives there, yes. so probably he is from Mexico. Okay, nice. Uh, let's see, Yolanda. Does Peter has tattoo? Yes or no? Does Peter has tattoos? Yes. Yes. He did. Yeah, because uh, he also has tattoos on his arm. Ah, okay. So if the question is, does Peter have tattoos? The answer will be yes. He does. He does. Right. Yes, he does. Okay, perfect. Okay, so let's continue. Let's see. Let me see. I guess we have more participants now. Yes, Patricia Nunez, welcome. Uh, Patricia, help us read Lila. Okay, try to read that conversation. Okay, uh, Lila, uh, uh, 26 years old. This is Laila, and she lives in Texas. She has long, curly brown hair and brown eyes. She has a large smile and is short. For her job, she likes to wear dresses and put on makeup. She works as a receptionist in a luxury hotel. On weekends, she wears, wears her hair in, in a ponytail and relaxes 
in some jeans. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Patricia. Nice. Uh, let's see, Karina, how old is Lila? Karina Lisette. Yes, teacher. <clears throat> how old is Lila? 26 years old. Okay, she is? She is 26 years old. Okay, 26. Okay, mm -hmm. Vanessa de Los Angeles. Where does Lila live? Where does Lila live? She lives in Texas. Okay, perfect, right? Uh, she lives in Texas, okay? So, what does Crisia, Crisia Muñoz, what does Laila do? Be careful with the mute, please. Espérenme, déjeme poner mute right here, I don't know. Okay, thank you. Crisia Muñoz, what does uh, Laila do? She works as a receptionist in a luxury hotel. Okay, perfect. So she's a receptionist, right? Nice. Uh, Milagro, mira, what is a ponytail? What is that ponytail? Do you know what is ponytail? Is that no? Uh-huh. Let's see. Que se me hizo. Okay, Lisette uh, Velasco. I don't know what happened with, I don't see it here. So Lisette, it says right here, uh, Lisette Velasco. Do you know what is a ponytail? Uh, I don't know, teacher. You don't know? Okay. Uh, no problem, no problem. That's why we are here. Uh, yes, Yolanda, go ahead. It's uh, cola de macho. <laughs> ah, cola de macho. <laughs> we don't say cola de macho, right? But we ladies, nosotros nos hacemos un moño, ¿verdad? Una cola, así nos recogemos el pelo y nos ponemos una cola, ¿verdad? Para detenerlo. So that is a ponytail. Okay, I think it's a... When I was child, I think it's a, uh, you put uh, here, see, yeah, this is a cola mm -hmm. de macho. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, and it, the, the, your hair is uh, free. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's true, okay? So that is a ponytail, okay? Cuando una mujer le dice, I'm, I'm using or wearing a ponytail, that means que anda el cabello recogido, right? So that is the ponytail. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's see, let's see, Mauricio. Welcome, Mauricio. Thank Mauricio you. Morales, were you here yesterday? No, no, I couldn't, ah. I couldn't um, attend the class. Yeah, okay, no problem, Mauricio. The good thing is that you are here, okay? You yeah. are here, nice. So, Mauricio, uh, describe the appearance from for Lila. How is she? How does she look like? Uh, well, Lila looks, uh, uh, looks like a, a big smile. Um, a, She's brown. Uh, her hair is uh, black. Mm -hmm. mm, well, in my computer I see black, but it's uh, is is brown, curly brown, eyes brown, uh, and she's short. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Thank you, Mauricio. Okay, let's see the next one. Okay, let's see the next one. Uh, we have Peter right here, okay? We have uh, Peter. So let's see Dagoberto Rodriguez. Dagoberto Rodriguez. Help us with the uh, reading, please, Peter. Peter, 60, 66 years old. This is Peter. He's a retired teacher. He's a bite ball. With, uh, white, with gray hair. He has light brown eyes. He's 
of medium build and likes to play tennis every morning to stay in shape. He generally likes to dress well and on Sunday he has, he always wears a suit to church. Okay, thank you, nice. Thank you for the reading. Okay, so let's see, um, Elvis, how old is Peter? Twenty twenty-eight years. He has he, a he he has a twenty twenty-eight years old. Yes, or he is. Hey, no, I'm sorry, sorry. He's a uh, sixty sixty-six years. Ah, okay. Thank you. He is sixty-six yeah. years old. Okay. So yeah. what is uh, right here? It says that he is retired. Okay, so he's retired. He is a retired teacher. Okay, so he is kind of old, right? Because he is 66, so he's already retired. He's not working anymore. Okay, so uh, mm -hmm. let's see. Let's see. Play... Oh, yeah. Hello? No, no. Okay, okay. So let's see, Luis Alonso. Luis Alonso, uh, what does he like to do? In this case, what does Peter like to do? Uh, no, no, I don't este, hear the uh, repeat, please. Ah, okay, no problem. Yeah, what does Peter like to do? Um, he, um, he play, play like he like play tennis. He like play, he like play tennis ah, every okay. morning. Perfect. He likes with S, right? He likes to play tennis play every tennis. morning. Every morning. Uh, Rafael, <clears throat> why he like? to play tennis why huh? okay uh, why? he likes to play tennis but why why he likes huh? to play tennis why 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 let me see mm-hmm Why? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Why? Let's see. Don't worry, Rafael. Don't uh -huh. worry. Let's see, Florence. Florence Magaña. Why? Because he want to stay in shape. Ah, because he want to stay in shape. What is that? He wants to stay in shape. In forma. Ah, mm. por eso él juega todos los días tenis, right? Porque él siempre quiere estar yes. así, figurita, right? So, nice, right. that's why, okay? Perfect, okay? Nice. Um, do you know what is, let's see, uh, a little bit a bold, right? So that's calvo, right? Pero no tan calvo, a little bit, <laughs> okay? A little bit, it's un poquito calvo, right? So he with gray hair, so ya está así como con pelito blanquito, right? So then what else? I guess we don't have any new word, okay? This one, he generally, okay? Generally, no, it's generally. He generally, he generally likes to dress well. Um, and on Sundays, he always wears a suit to church, okay? So very formal. Nice. So let's see, let's see who. Let's see, please turn on the, the camera, Mauricio, I don't see you. Okay, so Marina, Marina Sanabria, please uh, help us with the last reading. We have Jenny right here. Okay, Jenny, 32 years old. This is Jenny, she lives with her sister in California. 
She has medium length blonde hair. Her hair is very straight and thick. She has green eyes and she wears glasses. She likes to wear a lot of accessories such as yearly and scarf. Okay, thank you, Marina. Thank you. Okay, so Claudia, how old is a Jenny? Jenny Claudia. is twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay. 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 Twenty-two.
phrasal verbs. So we will see what are they, okay? So uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see who. Uh, Patricia, Patricia Nunez, tell us, read please, what is a phrasal verb right here? You are on it. Excuse me, I, I don't understand. Yeah, just read the just read the, the definition right here. The phrase verb. Just read it. Uh, a phrase a phrase verb is a com combination of two words. Usually a verb and a preposition that create a phrase with a different meaning. Example, a, I gave up when the game got too hard. Perfect, thank you. So listen, I don't know if this is something new. Uh, have you ever heard before about phrasal verbs? Ya lo había bien escuchado esto, or this is new? Yep. Mm. Yep. Yep. Mm, so, so. Okay, probably yes. Okay, probably you mm -hmm. see it before, but uh, this is not Wait something up. that it, they are really common. They are really common, but the thing is that we don't realize that they are phrasal verbs, okay? So, se llaman así, phrasal verbs, okay? Son como frases de verbos, si usted traduce, right? Phrasal verbs, okay? Mm -hmm. And it says right here that a phrasal verb is a combination of two words. That means that tenemos dos letras, right? Dos palabras, two words. Usually a verb and a preposition. Casi siempre va a ir un verbo y una preposición. Pueden ir juntos o pueden ir separados, okay? And the combination of these two words sometimes can be even three words together, okay? So the combination of these words are going to create a new phrase, like a new meaning, okay? A different meaning, okay? Look at the example. It says, I gave up when the game got too hard. So what is gave? It's the verb, right? Up is a preposition, but if we put it together, we have something mm. else. Okay, mm. so si yo pongo esto como un verbo, what is gave? Dar. 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 Okay, oh, y, uh -huh. y este up? Arriba. Arriba. Uh, sí, arriba, right? So now the meaning of this uh, sentence, I gave up when the game got too hard. Mm -hmm. So what is the meaning of this? Yo renuncio, yo renuncio, Ajá, cuando... yo me di por vencido, decimos, Ajá. give up, ok, Ajá. in this case, en pasado, right, yo me Ajá. rendí, me di por vencido when the game was too hard, Ajá. ok, so you see, the combination of these two words, now we have a new meaning, ok, that is a phrasal verb, ok, for example, an easy phrasal verb that we know, uh, get up i get up at five o'clock in the morning that's what we say right so i get up get up get es obtener y up arriba right but if we put it together i get up me levanto dice usted okay so that is something else we have like a different meaning like it says right here okay another wake example up. i'm sorry oh it's the same wake up yeah Wake up, okay, wake up, uh -huh. okay, wake up, the despierto, right, wake up, uh -huh. okay, so that is a phrasal verb. Also, we have a, um, another phrasal verb that can be, uh, let's see, um, pick up, pick up, okay, you see, pick up, pick up okay, uh -huh. so that is another phrasal verb. So keep in mind, the phrasal verbs are a combination with a verb and normally it will be a preposition when, that when we put it together, we have something else, okay? So that's why um, phrasal verbs are not easy at the beginning. And as I told you, I have a list of 200 phrasal verbs because there are many, many phrasal verbs wow. that sometimes we don't know 
probably we know the word as a verb and we know the preposition, but if we put it together, so then we don't know what is the meaning of that. Okay, mm -hmm. and that is the problem. That's why we need to study a little bit about the phrasal verbs because when we are reading, for example, usted está leyendo un parrafito y se encuentra un phrasal verb, usted dice, ¿y esto qué dice? Right? Because the meaning of that is something else. It's not just the verb and the preposition. Okay, are we clear what is a phrasal verb? Yeah. Nice. Yes. Okay, so let's see. But, but you says, you says, teacher, that sometimes are, well, the most are in two, two words, but sometimes are three words. What is yeah. it? Give me an example with three words. I will give you, I will give you one. I have in the list uh, one that is for, uh, with three words, okay? And you will see that we uh -huh. have, okay? Uh, let me see right here. We have these examples, okay? These ones are the phrasal verbs, and this one is the meaning, okay? Look, carry on, carry on, okay? So it means continue, okay? Take off, start to fly, pass away, okay? Usted dice, se murió el perro, right? The dog pass away. Also, you can say the dog died, right? Pero pass away, mm -hmm. that would be like a, the, a nice phrasal word. Phrasal verb, when something died, right? So this is the meaning, but this is the phrasal verb that we can use. Look after. That means uh, take care, take care. Then we have right here, look for trying to find, okay? Usted dice, ando buscando. Ando buscando el, la llave, dice usted. Look for, okay? I'm looking for the keys, okay? Ando buscando. Uh, hold on, okay? That is wait for a short time, okay? Like when you call customer service, right? You call any customer service, the lady says, okay? Just, uh, could you please stay on the line? Just hold on for a minute. So that means that you will be on hold, right? Waiting for a short time of period, right? Then we have a run out, round out, have none left, okay? Usted me, por ejemplo, cuando se le acaba el internet, okay? Usted tiene su paquete de datos y usted dice, híjole, se me acabó el internet. So how you say that in English? run out and run out of data. Okay, run, run out. Estoy, se me acabó el internet. I have, I'm run out of data. No tengo más datos, decimos nosotros, no más internet. Okay, cuando usted se queda sin dinero, ya le pagaron y ya pagó todo lo que tiene que pagar. Usted dice, I'm broken, sin dinero, right? But run out, it's no more. Okay, ya no le queda nada. And uh, we have right here, wake up, the one that we mentioned, wrap, stop sleeping, levantes, right? Despierte, wake up. Then we have uh, go back. Go back is return to a place, okay? Return to a place. And give up, the one that is on the example, right? Stop, stop trying. So yeah, me doy por vencido. Okay, so uh, let's see, I have this activity, okay? So let's do it, okay? I will give you just like one or two or three minutes the most for you to complete uh, this activity, okay? So what we are going to do with the phrasal verbs that we have right here, we are going to fulfill the sentences, okay? We have five sentences right here. So try to uh, choose the correct phrasal verb for each sentence, okay? So you have just one or two minutes to uh, fill all the, all, the, all the sentences, okay?
Okay. So let's see if we can do it together, okay? Probably there are words that probably we don't know, but we will see together. Um, let's see. Uh, Walter, Jose, Walter. Uh, let's see, read the number one, sentence number one, and let's see. Walter. I guess he's not here. That's why I really like to have your cameras because in that way I see who is here and who's not. Um, it says right here, well. So Claudia. Claudia Maria, go ahead with number one, please. Um, I think there is a strip off. Um, strip off your clothes and let's go for a swim. Did you have your swim swimsuit on under your clothes? Okay. So what is the meaning of a strip a strip off? Um, Desnudarse. Ah, okay. Okay, so strip off. Nice. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Or put on, teacher. Yeah, put on, it's the opposite, right? Because right here in the sentence it says, uh, you're closed and let's go for swimming. Uh, the you have your swimming, uh, your swimming suit under or on under your clothes. So let's see. I'm uh, I'm not sure if this one will be stripped off or put on, because in the other one, the other one. Let's see the 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 one number four, I guess. But let's see. Let's see the second one, Crisia Muñoz. Let's see the second one. Is I put on my tennis shoes for a quick run. Okay, so I put on my tennis shoes for a quick run. Okay, nice. Nice. Let's see. Vamos a ver a quién no le hemos preguntado. Vanessa, Vanessa. Um, I think in the tree, my three, my little brother isn't good with buttons. He can button up. He's caught by himself. Okay, perfect. My little brother isn't good with bottoms. He can't bottom up. Okay, what if, what would be the meaning for button up? I don't know. Abotonarse. Ah, si decimos nosotros, right? Abotonarse. Okay, no puede abotonarse su cup, su, como su traje, su uh, chaleco cha, o algo, verdad, que tenga botones by himself, okay, solito. Nice. Uh, let's see, Luis Alonso, number four. Uh, take off your, sh your shoes, please. Mm -hmm. uh, when you come inside the house, Okay, perfect. Take off. What is take off? Quitar. Quitarse, okay? Quitarse. Quítate los Quitar. zapatos. Okay, it's like quítate los zapatos uh, before, right? When you come inside the house. Okay, so we have take off, take off. We have a strip, a strip off, button up. 
And uh, let's see the last one, okay? The last one will be for uh, Yolanda. Go ahead, Yolanda, please. When I try to uh, zip up my coat, the zipper got caught on my shirt underneath. Okay, perfect. Zip up, what is that? Cerrar. Uh -huh. Cerrar. Subir el zip. Subir, así decimos nosotros. Me voy a subir el zipper, right? So that will be zip up. Okay, so in that case, a uh, strip off will be a strip off. It's a synonym of take off. Okay, so number one, it's a strip off. And the last one will be zip up. The number four is uh, but up, but up. Number, I'm sorry, no, number, number four, it's take off, right? Number three is but off. And number two, it's put on. So that will be the Deca Runway, right? Sure. So, yep. Uh, and the sentences one, maybe uh, also take off, right? Take off your clothes. Yeah, can maybe. be. Maybe. Can mm -hmm. be, can be possible. But in this case, we use a take off in number four. That's why uh -huh. the last one that we have is as that one, but also it's correct. Please take, mm -hmm, take mm -hmm. off your take clothes off and let's uh -huh. go do something, right? Yeah, mm -hmm, it's correct mm -hmm. as well. Okay. Nice, okay. So let's see what else we have right here. Okay, let me, let me share with you the list for the uh, phrasal verbs that I have, okay? So obviously we are not going to see all the list because as I told you, it's a uh, kind of long. But let me let me share with you. And if you want, I can okay. uh, share. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> a question. Uh, a, a piece of cake is a, a, a similar. It's a phrasal a phrasal phrasal verb. Phrasal verb. Not really. Not really. Mm. A piece of cake that would be an idiom. Do you know what is an idiom? Ya han escuchado eso en inglés, un idiot, no un idiot. No. <laughs> es otra cosa, right? Yeah. Un idiot, idiot. Do you know what is an idiot? No. Ah, okay. So no. it's okay, it's an idiot. So we have phrases in Spanish, okay? So especially we Salvadorians, han escuchado ustedes los dichos en español. Los dichos, el que dice eh, camarón que se duerme se lo lleva a la corriente. Uh -huh. So, no es que usted va a ver un camarón que se lo esté llevando a la corriente, right? So, what is the meaning of that? What is the meaning of camarón que se duerme okay. se lo lleva a la corriente? Que no, que no sea lento. <laughs> ah, ok. Si yo le digo a usted en Spanish, um, al que madruga Dios le ayuda. Quiere decir que usted se levanta a las dos de la mañana y todo le va a salir bien. Uh -huh. Ok, so uh -huh. ese es, una, un, un, es un idiom, es un dicho. Ok, uh -huh. el que anda con lobos a huyar aprende. No es que usted se va a ir con un lobo, ¿verdad? Sino que es un dicho de que las malas compañías, right? Go ahead. ¿Cómo se escribe? Yes. Idioms. Ahí se la voy a poner en el chat. So, los idioms. So, pueden buscar ustedes. Ahorita no, no, no estamos viendo eso, pero we can Google it, ¿ok? Los idioms. Ahí se los dejé en el chat. Espérenme que esto me está dando problema. No sé por qué. Usted puede poner, por ejemplo, idioms in English. Ya vamos a poner unos ahí. Ok, so idioms, those are dichos, ok, so ahí sí creo que, no sé si ya lo logran ver, pero ahí está. Ok, do, so piece ok no es un phrase, pero ese sería un idiom. Si yo le digo a usted, the exam will be a piece ok. Usted no se imagina que en el examen yo le voy a regalar un pedazo de pastel, 
<laughs> no, that means that the exam will be very easy. The exam is very easy, okay? El examen va a estar fácil. Si yo le digo, this quiz is a piece of cake. No es que voy a partir un pastel y le voy a dar un pedacito. No, that means que el quiz está really, really easy. Okay, another if idioms. And that's why cuando ustedes se fijan que alguien que está aprendiendo español dice, yo no te entiendo. Porque a ustedes a una cosa le dicen de cien mil maneras, right? Él está tratando de aprender algo y usted le sale con camarón que se duerme, se lo lleva a la corriente, lo mata. Porque él no va a entender esa cosa. Okay, because that is an idiom from, uh, in Spanish in this case. But they do the same. They do the same. You are learning English. If I say, um, if I say, for example, I, I drink pata soup once in a blue moon. Si yo le digo eso, usted que entiende? I drink pata soup once in a blue moon. Esa es una Entiendo. phrase, ese es un idiom de ellos. Así como nosotros los tenemos los nuestros de eso, de que el que anda en la miel algo se le pega. So they do have their own idioms. So si yo le digo así, I drink pata soup once in a blue moon. Rara vez. Ajá, once in a blue moon es, es un like adverb of frequency. Did you remember the, ad, the adverbs of frequency? Que vio allá como en el pre-inicio que iba iniciando, que le dijeron always, never, sometimes, seldom, hardly ever, sometimes. So once, once in a blue moon, es como que yo lo traduzca y nosotros decimos cuando San Juan para el dedo. Es algo que es raro. Okay, so that is once in a blue moon. No es que yo voy a ir una vez a la luna azul. No, okay. Mm -hmm. So that is the translation, once in a blue moon. But the meaning is rara, rara vez. Va a ser bien raro. Allá dice uno cuando pare la venada, dice usted. So those are like the phrases that we used. Okay, so that is an idiom. Okay, so usted va a otro país, Estados Unidos, por ejemplo. Y está, y está hoy un, un americano, un gringo, y le dice, Oh my God, it's raining cat, cats and dogs. Y usted va a ver, ¿y dónde están los gatos y los perros? Que yo no los veo. Ok, porque ellos así van a decir, It's raining cats and dogs. That means that it's raining really hard. Es una tormenta, de esas tormentas eléctricas, esas tormentas que... Que, que llueve mucho, right? So that's the way they say it, okay? So those are idioms, okay? Usted puede poner ahí idioms in English y ahí le sale una lista uh, de un montón de common idioms. So those are phrases that they use the same way that we use it in Spanish, okay? Nice. So piece of okay is an idiom. So let's see. My goodness, time is, we have 10 more minutes, okay? Look, we have right here, uh, Phrasal verse, it says uh, 200 common phrasal verse with meaning and example sentence, okay? Look, the phrasal verse can be together or can be separated to words. Look, as somebody out, out, invite on a date, okay? Un, para pedirle una cita, okay? So let me see, we have a long list. Look, look at this one, break out in something okay three words together okay so look at the meaning right here develop a skin condition okay i break broke out in a rush after our camping trip okay so as i told you we have a long list obviously que no vamos a irlo viendo todo pero um, we can see like the common ones. I guess they are in alphabetical order. If you want, I can share with you this list, okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know if um, I have the chance to uh, share it here in the WhatsApp. Let's see. No, I guess. 
Your... Well, I will share it in the in the WhatsApp group because I don't have the option here. I don't know. Okay, so uh, let's see. Let's see one one more. Okay, it says right here. For example, a common one. This one. Break up. Okay, when you have a relation with your boyfriend and your girlfriend and suddenly something happens, so you break out, okay? In the relation, my boyfriend and I, uh, it says broke up, I moved to America, okay? So terminamos, decimos, yo andaba ahí con el novio, pero ya terminamos, so that is break up, okay? So it says, bring somebody up, raise, raise a child. My grandfather, my grandparents brought me up, okay? So that is the meaning, okay? Brought me up after my parents died, okay? Quiere decir que ellos lo cuidaron, okay? Lo levantaron, es no, es no así de levantar, sino el, el cuido, right? Se quedó tal vez solito. Yes? I see the breakup, eh... Have it has a two two meanings. I uh, had meanings equal bring up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the thing the thing is the look. This one is informal. Says right here, start laughing informal. The kids just uh broke up as soon as the cloud start talking. Okay, start laughing, okay? So this is informal, but as I told you, that's why we need to know the phrasal verbs. Because if you see the phrasal verbs and you are reading and you are like, what is the meaning of that? Okay, it doesn't make sense because sometimes the phrases, they can have different meanings and that will depend on the content, okay? Por eso hay que leer como... Eh, todo, ¿verdad? Para agarrarle el sentido de cuál es el meaning de esa palabra, porque puede significar mm -hmm. otra cosa. Ok. okay. So, that's why uh, phrasal verse is not something easy. At the beginning, it's kind of complicated. What we can do in order for you to learn phrasal verse is do this. Try to have a list. Y esta es una lista pequeña, la que yo encontré, porque hay unas listas... Uh, the muchos, right? So, but since right now, in order for us to have an idea, so have a, a small list would be nice, okay? Uh, let's see. This one is for call, call, call around, for many different places or people, okay? Call around is when you are calling, calling, calling someone. We call around, but we weren't able to find the car part we need, okay? So call around, o sea, dando como mucha vuelta, anduvieron ahí, cruzándose, 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 okay? Like all over, all over, all over, okay? So then we have call on, call, call up, that is about phone, call down, okay? Relax, okay? Cuando alguien está ahí como bien estresado, usted le dice, hey, relax, call down, call down, that means relax, okay, relax. Uh, check in, look, this is for hotels when you are traveling. Ahí le dicen, haga el check in ahí, haga el check out. Okay, that is a phrase of it. Okay, cuando vaya a un hotel, usted ve ahí que diga check in, diga, oh, that is a phrase of it. That means that I have to register myself. I, ha I have to go there and say my name and who I am and where I am, or what we are going to be doing here, right? So, check out, leave a hotel. Okay, ya me voy, ya me tengo que reportar que me voy, right? So we have, for example, carry on. Did you remember carry on? So that is another uh, phrasal verb. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, count down with, look, become sick. Enfermarme, me estoy enfermando. Usted me quiere decir, mire, es que me está dando algo. Me está, me está dando algo, se me está bajando la presión. Y usted dice eso en Spanish, right? So you can say, I come down with flu, okay? My nephew came down with 
chicken pox this weekend, ok, le dio como ahí como un resfriado, una can calenturita de pollo, right, so that is uh, this phrase, uh, what else we have here, my goodness, there are many, ok, but crossed out, draw a line through, crossed something out, please close, cross out your old address and write or new one, okay, crossed out. En el examen le pone a usted, le ponen crossed out, okay, que subraye, que encierre o que haga algo ahí, verdad, un trazo, crossed out, okay. Uh, what else, good off? Remove when something sharp, okay. Look, what else, do over, do away with, Discard, ok, discard, como des, descartar, obviar, dejar, dress up, este ya lo usamos, Drep, uh, dress up, you see, many, many phrasal press, uh, let's see, eat out, eat at a restaurant, ok, salir a comer afuera, dice usted, voy a ir a comer a algún restaurante, ok, uh, let's see, fall down, fall to the ground, okay, fall down, cuando algo se cae de repente, right? Look at the sentence right there, it says, uh, the picture that you hang up last night fell down this morning, okay? Se cayó de la pared, fell down. Uh, figure it out, what is figure it out? Understand, usted me dice en español, es que estoy tratando de entender, Usted me puede decir, I'm trying to understand. It's correct. Pero si usted me dice, I just, I'm trying to figure it out. Ah, ok. Me está diciendo lo mismo, but now using a phrasal verb. Ok. So, phrasal verbs are for intermediate levels, advanced levels. Ok. Ustedes ya van a intermedio. Ya usted tiene que obtener un vocabulario más amplio. Y usted escucha que alguien le dice, oh my goodness, I just figured out the answers of the exams. Es como que ya terminó el examen y ahorita me estoy acortando del examen. Ahorita tengo la respuesta ya. Too late, right? I, that's too late. Okay. Uh, what else? What else? What else? We used get across, get over. That means communicate, make understandable. Okay. So that is the meaning and the examples right here. Uh, get along, get along, like each other. Usted dice en español, eh, me gusta la persona, me, me, me llevo bien, ok? Get along, ok? That means that you enjoy the, the be with the other person, ok? So that is get, a, get along or get on, both are the same, ok? So let's see what else we have right here. Get together, este ya lo hemos visto. Get together when you meet someone. Uh, give someone away. Reveal hiding information about somebody. Give somebody away. His wife gave me away at my wedding. I'm sorry, it says my father gave me away at my wedding. Okay, so that is... Uh, hide something, cuando le están como ocultando algo, right? Como no le quieren decir algo. Okay, so let's see the last ones, go ahead. This one, look, go ahead, este. We, I say it, okay, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so hagamos, let's start, let's do something, let's do it, okay? And let's, let's see, as I told you, there are many, many right here, okay? No podemos irlo viendo uno por uno because the time is not enough, but I will share this list in the WhatsApp group, so you can yeah. see it, okay? I'm not expect that you will learn all of them, okay? Porque son un montón, pero yeah. yo por lo menos digo que se aprenda unos cinco, no sé, cada día vaya revisando ahí unas palabritas and use the words, okay? And trate de usarlas para que vean que ya your English is in a different level, okay? Ya cuando usted quiera decir, se murió el perro. Ya no diga, the dog died. Diga, the dog passed away. The dog passed away. Ah, 
ah, I see this, they sabe inglés, right? Pass away, so die, okay? And the, the same, okay? The same story with other phrasal verbs that we can use. Um, run over, run over, drive a vehicle over a person or thing. Oh my goodness, atropellar. Okay, run away, run out, run out. ¿Qué dijimos que era run out? Have no, no left, okay? Se me acabaron los datos, dice usted. Usted me dice, me va a decir, I don't have data. I don't have data, no tengo datos. Pero usted me puede decir, I'm run out of data. Y ahí voy a entender yo que ya no tiene datos. Okay, I'm run out of data. Okay, nice. And more and more and more and more. But um, we are not going to see all of them. Okay, but I will share with you this uh, list. And you can uh, review the list later on. Okay, so the time is over. But uh, team class, we need to work in the platform. Me gustaría que, no sé si alguien está atrasado, me lo diga. Sé que alguien me escribió, tengo pendiente ahí escribirle a alguien. Eh, but then the rest, I'm assuming that you are doing nice, okay? I'm assuming that uh, you are with the lesson number four or about to start lesson number five. So tomorrow we don't have class. Aproveche la hora para avanzar en la plataforma como que si estuviéramos en clase para que avance si es que no ha llegado a la unidad cinco. Next week, Monday, we have the last uh, week and uh, we are going to start with the last unit. That is the unit number five. And we need to do the exam, probably some exercise for this final exam. We will do it together on the last day. Okay, voy a proyectar para aclarar si es que hay alguna duda, pero yo espero que ustedes ya lo hayan hecho, right? Porque ya ese día en inglés corporativo ellos hacen su corte de ver quién tiene 85 en la plataforma, quién no. And that's the way they do it, okay? So please work in the platform tomorrow and also during the weekend. And that way we will be on the top of everything, okay? I don't know if you have any question or something that you would like to add. No questions, everything is okay? Okay. Yes. Perfect, thank you. So uh, I promise that I will share the phrasal verbs. Otro ratito se los mando al WhatsApp group and you can review the list, okay? So see you on Monday. Take care, enjoy the weekend, do something nice for you, okay? Descanse, relax, do something nice, enjoy with your friends, with your family. But the most important thing, work in the platform, okay? If you haven't worked in the platform, you don't have time to go to the beach or you don't have time to go out okay castigado en la casa okay <laughs> so thank you bye bye see you on monday okay i appreciate bye. you bye, bye. Good, night. bye. good night thank you bye bye, bye. 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 bye.